cash or check. That's one key issue as lawyers for President Trump and his former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, debate the significance of that newly released tape in which we hear the two men discussing plans for that controversial payment to the Playboy model. Now, Cohen's lawyer tells NBC News the recording has not been edited or altered. One thing is certain, the audio is creating a firestorm. The bombshell recording released overnight on CNN captures Donald Trump talking to his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, about how they could buy the rights to Playboy model Karen McDougal's story of an alleged long-running affair with Mr. Trump, an affair the White House denies. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis, says the secret recording was made two months before the 2016 election. On that tape, originally provided by Davis, Cohen is heard telling Mr. Trump he wants to set up a company to handle the matter. I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so that I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and, I've spoken, me, and I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with so what are we funding. Cohen then discusses financing the company, prompting questions from Mr. Trump about how to pay. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So I'll pay the no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. And that's where the tape and any clarity ends. Cohen's attorney insists the president wanted to use cash to make the payment in order to conceal it. The only people who use cash are drug dealers and mobsters. Cash is not what you do. And it was Michael Cohen who said, no, 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 no. But the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says it was Mr. Trump who wanted to use a check for the purpose of creating a record and keeping the payment above board. There's no way the president is going to be talking about setting up a corporation and then using cash, unless no. you're a complete idiot and, yeah. and the president's not an idiot. Why does it matter? If the payment was concealed, it could be seen as a violation of campaign finance laws. Giuliani telling NBC News the tape shows there was nothing criminal about the conversation, and he insists no payment ever occurred. President Trump's frustration on display over the weekend when he tweeted that it was inconceivable for Cohen to secretly record him, adding, the good news is that your favorite president did nothing wrong. And in what some are calling an ironic twist, just hours before the secretly recorded recorded tape was made public, the president openly telling supporters this. Just remember, what you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. And in another major takeaway, the recording seems to show Mr. Trump had prior knowledge of the proposal to buy the rights to McDougal's story, despite his team originally insisting otherwise. Otherwise, overnight, though, his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says nothing on the tape shows the president knew about the payment in advance. Now, for months, debate has swirled about whether Cohen would flip on his former boss. The release of this tape indicates, at the very least, he's taking a far more aggressive approach. Savannah and Hoda. All right, Kristen, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.